It has been exactly one week since my stepdad passed away. This last seven days have been a total whirlwind. whirlwind. Today is my first day at home on my own and I kind of want to just have a bit of a bit of a self-care day, a bit of looking after myself, a bit of chance to process some of my emotions. Quite honestly, I want to sort myself out a bit because I've got a giant spot on my face. House is a bit of a mess. I want to feel like things are a bit more orderly. So in the past seven days, I have been with my mom and my family. Yesterday and the day before, I worked at the hospital, did some A&E shifts, managed to get through those without crying. So very proud of myself for that. And today I've just got this day at home and it's very tempting for me to be very productive with my online business stuff. I'm feeling like this urge, I've got lots of like undone things, of things that I need to catch up on, emails and correspondence and things like that. But I am taking my own advice, which is to properly recharge my batteries. And I am putting my work aside for today. I've let people know that I'm, I'm unavailable because I really feel like I need it. Making myself some marmalade on toast, which to me, is total comfort food, so it's time to sit down, snuggle up with Tilly on the sofa and probably feed her the crusts, let's be honest, I always do. Oh, I feel so much better after a shower. I felt like just really grubby and gross. I've had a chance now to wash my hair, exfoliate, and I just feel a lot cleaner. I've got my vitamin C serum from Medicaid. This is my favorite one, it makes my skin so much brighter. Last night I had this thought, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to eloquently put this into words, but when you're dealing with death as a healthcare professional, you're dealing with it in the current tense and you, you deal with it with what's happening in front of you and then move on to the next patient. And so I had this strange thought last night, a kind of realisation that this isn't just like a here and now issue. This is like John, my stepdad, he's gone forever. And it kind of hit me that he, you know, I'm not going to see him again and this is not just a current problem, it's a future problem as well. I don't know if I'm wording that very well. One thing that my mum always says to me when I'm feeling a bit down is to wear comfy clothes, wear your softest clothes, wear things that make you feel really happy. So I've put on this bright pink cardigan that is so light and soft and some really comfy slouchy jeans. So just a small thing to make myself feel a teeny bit better. Just put on a little bit of makeup to make me feel more human. <laughs> Had a couple of people at work yesterday say that I looked pretty tired and ask if I was okay and I think that's fair because I do look tired <laughs> but I like to just try and make myself look and feel a bit, a bit fresher so very quick makeup routine for today. I think the other thing is that normally I fake tan once a week just to give myself a little bit of colour to my skin, but I haven't done that in the last couple of weeks, so I probably do look more pale than usual. got the most gorgeous bunch of flowers through from three of my best friends this morning. So it just makes me feel so lucky that I'm surrounded by so many wonderful, loving human beings. Also, it's such a pure grief because John, my stepdad, was just such a wonderful, wonderful man. And all of our family are hearing such lovely tributes from people that knew him. It's been obviously really sad, but equally really wonderful to know that we're all so surrounded by love and that John was so loved. I don't know if there's any amount of concealer that can hide these dark circles and Madame Spot over here. <laughs> see what we can do, see if we can work a little bit of magic. I think after this I will do a bit of a speed clean just to tidy up the mess that is the house. What I like to do when I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed and just want to make myself feel a bit better is put a timer on. Put a timer on for half an hour or so, get as much done in that time as possible. Stops me getting distracted as I'm cleaning and tidying. I'm thinking I'd like to do some batch cooking. We haven't got any, fruit, any food in so I'll go and do one of my least favourite things, which is go to the supermarket. Oh, it's amazing how a little bit of blush can just make you feel awake. One of the things that I'm always stressing the importance of when I'm doing coaching sessions with people is exquisite self-care. 
taking really good care of yourself. No one can do this for you. You have to do this for yourself. Getting good sleep, resting and recharging your batteries and really nourishing your body, taking the best possible care of yourself that you can so that you can show up in the world in the best way possible. And when you're having a really down period like I am right now going through grief, this is even more important. So right now I'm getting the chance to practice what I preach. The three most important things are always sleep, nutrition, and exercise. And as well as that, I like to take care of my body, do some personal grooming, and look after my environment and connect with friends and family. And for me, cleaning and tidying is an act of self-care. Right now, I'm grieving, and what I'd really like to be doing is staying in bed all day under a duvet, watching Netflix, and crying. And although having a good crying session and having the occasional Netflix binge may be cathartic, I also like to make sure that I get myself up, ready for the day, because it just makes me feel better. And cleaning and tidying and looking after my space gives me the feeling that I'm worthy of living in a nice home, that I deserve to enjoy my space, and it just honestly lifts my mood and makes me feel 10 times better. When I'm having low energy times or times when I'm feeling upset or overwhelmed, I try and figure out what are the bare minimum things I can do. So just tiny, tidying up things that are in my line of sight, like I'm doing here, and doing things like putting on bright clothes, things that make me feel a bit more happy and lift my mood. If I let all the mess and dirt around the house pile up, then I know that I'm just gonna feel so much worse and it's gonna feel like it's too much to handle. So just trying to keep on top of things, even though I don't really feel like it, is going to be good for me in the short, medium and long term, I know this for sure. It's really helpful to think about the things you can do that are going to make life easier for your future self. So just little things like tidying up your space, making your room feel nice and fresh and clean, and organized and making your bed feel like a nice sanctuary so that when you get into bed at night you feel good <laughs> I don't know about you but I am the kind of person who is really affected by my environment so I find that when things get messy or dirty or that the house just smells a bit funky that it really affects my mood so having the opportunity to have a clear up and sort things out makes me feel really good so yeah, the last few days have just been a bit of a whirlwind. I've been at work, so I'm finally clearing away my, my lunchbox and my bottles from work. Let me know your recommendations down in the comments below of anything that's uplifting, any good comedies, films, YouTube channels, and podcasts or books that you've been enjoying. Okay, time to have a look through my cookbooks. I've got a few favorites. This book by Deliciously Ella, I absolutely love. This is one of my go-tos when I want like really hearty, nutritious meals. This is one of my favorites of hers. This coconut Thai curry with chickpeas really freezes well. So this will be a good one to batch up and put in the freezer. I may add some chicken to this. This one, Mary Berry Every Day. I mean, love her. You can't go wrong with any Mary Berry recipes. She's absolute national treasure. These meals are all, we can see how many I've put bookmarks in. Every single one of these has been a hit. Quick, easy kinds of things that you can just chuck together on a, on a weeknight. So I'm um, gonna have a good look through here and get some inspiration. Another Mary Berry over here, her absolute favorite one. I got this one, I think, secondhand for like three quid. Really nice kind of comfort food. She's got a delicious tomato soup recipe in here and lots of other hearty favorites that Vince and I always enjoy. Time to get myself out the house and go food shopping. Genuinely one of my most hated chores, so I'm gonna try and do it as quickly as I possibly can so I can get home. just unbelievably cute. Well, the weather's cleared up a bit. It was absolutely pouring with rain earlier. Go walkies with Vince. He's home from work now. Come on then. <laughs> you ready? 
Here he is. Everyone's favourite co-star. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'm, real, I'm the real star. I don't know. I went back to one of our old videos the other day because someone commented on it, a video about what's it like to date a doctor. There are a lot of comments loving you in that video and I'm requesting more features of Vince in videos. So the ladies what and they gents, want. here you go. <laughs> the main man himself. Don't think close, you could as present it. <laughs> Batch cooking is well underway. So over here I've got the delicious Liella curry that I've just taken out of the oven. Got loads of good stuff in here, aubergines, butternut squash, some homegrown courgettes, chickpeas. It's like coconutty and tomatoey and delicious. And then over here we have a sausage casserole with some leftover sausages, beans, loads of tomatoes, onions. And I'll probably serve that with a baked sweet potato and some greens. And then over at the back here is one of my new favorite recipes, which is a burnt aubergine veggie chili. And we, one of our friends made us this when we went on holiday with them. And it is so delicious. I think I'm probably gonna have at least 12 portions of food here. And it would just be so nice to have the freezer stocked up and know that when things get really busy and I'm gonna be having to have lots of other commitments that I have lots of good food batched and ready that's very nutritious, very filling. Vince is busy working tonight, so I'll grab a blanket, sit on the sofa, put some nice music on, read a magazine, and then call my mum, have a catch up with her, text my siblings, check in with them all. If you've been going through something similar or if you're going through a bit of a down patch at the moment, then you're not alone. Just remember to take exquisite care of yourself. Really just lean into what you what you need right now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Come on then, Tilly. <laughs>